Back making bid one of seven libraries in the country to get a grant to create what they call a memory lab. The Institute of Museum and Library Services gave $13,000 so you can digitize your outdated media without charge. Suzanne Lawler shows you why it's well worth your time to go through the process and preserve things for future generations. Check it out. The Washington Library just started a new service and it's absolutely cool. Let's say you've got negatives of old photos, slides, these came from my dad, and old VHS tapes. No problem, you sign up for a three hour window to come here and digitize it all for free. I'm just loading our 35 millimeter negatives. Librarian Tim Spishuk is loading in my pictures from a skydiving trip I took 25 years ago. He can help you out, but there are training videos you've got to watch so you can do everything yourself. I will go ahead and click on OK. You need to bring whatever medium you want. You can bring a jump drive, you can bring an external hard drive. We have people that are, you can email it to yourself or to the cloud. Muriel Jackson wrote the grant that got all of this going. It began because she wanted to preserve VHS tapes donated to the library from the Macon Symphony Orchestra but the machinery will cover all kinds of formats. This is a four by six negative, which is what they used in the 40s up until the mid to late 60s, because the clarity on this is so good. Muriel says that it can get emotional for people reliving parts of their lives they haven't seen in decades. Like for me, getting a chance to see an amazing adventure I had. And sometimes it's doing all of this to leave a legacy behind. And, and as we know, we always hear people Someone dies and there's a bunch of pictures and no one knows who they are because they're not labeled. So with the new technology, you can get everything labeled and everybody in the family can get a copy of the picture. And nowadays, they'll want to store it on a phone or shoot it on over to social media. And that's okay because technology is changing, but you can't replace memories that were a snapshot in time. Suzanne Lawler, 13 WMAZ News. And Jackson says down the road they hope to get a machine that will preserve audio recordings.